Hey guys, Zar here. Good morning at 6.28 a.m. New York time. Looking at gold. I'm just doing my zones for the morning. I'm mapping out my uh, NASDAQ zones and my S&P and my uh, Dow. And then I get to, you know, DAX and uh, FTSE and then to gold. And this is what I see. I see a nice zone break, clean traffic to the left. A little bit of stuff here with a, uh, a couple of rejection wicks. Not really rejection wicks, but wicks. I got 30 seconds left in this candle. Looking for a long opportunity here, guys. I'm going to take you out to the bigger picture. You can see the daily here is a white candle. It's a bullish candle, but very much range bound on the daily. But on the uh, 30 minute here, as I just showed you, we're having that breakout. Going over to the one minute. You know what? I'm going to make this the two minute chart. And I'm going to delete the VWAP for now because it's so messy at this time of day that it's largely irrelevant to look at, at VWAP. What I will do though is drop on a 20 EMA just to give us a little bit of perspective. But now back to the 30 minute chart, looking for a long, this is a zone break opportunity potentially. I would like to see, this is not a live order yet by the way, I'll tell you when. Not yet. Okay, order is live. Is a live buy stop order. Here we go. And almost in here, just a minute now. And I'm in, guys. And I'm looking for 35 pips. Pretty big, uh, pretty big move. Stop will actually be. At 25 pips. First trade of the day, of course. Very early here, 6.31 now. AM. Gold often moves at this time of day. Again, 6.30 in the morning. Let me show you yesterday. Uh, this is a 6 o'clock and 6.30, so that big move. And then the day before, uh, this is 6.30. Okay, so that move down. Look at the day before. 6 till 7, you get this move here. That was kind of a smaller move. The move actually came later. Uh, here, 6.30, move down. These are big moves, by the way. Good size moves. Uh, 6 o'clock, 6.30, big move here, continuation move. Day before, um, quieter day. But range bound, I mean, there's, you know, there's no opportunity here. So you're not just going to, you know, take a position because it happens to be 6.30, let's call it. Uh, we'd need structural reasons to enter the trade, of course. Speaking for myself, but... Uh, here guys kind of pretty sluggish right now actually no major news today I mean there's earnings um, but uh, only one one really news event and it's it's later today and it's a it's a medium uh, importance urgency news peace I'll put you on pause for now guys and bring you back all right guys quite a few minutes have passed and uh, Moving up here a little bit. Five pips so far. Keep an eye on. Let me just show you the bigger, bigger picture here, uh, so you can see the full idea. Uh, I kind of mentioned this already, but the the white candle, so the bullish candle on um, uh, at its highs for the day on the daily. 
but very much again range bound this is an inside bar from yesterday and uh, the day before that was an inside bar from the day before and so we've had this real consolidation here in the daily these are big moves by the way I mean even you know this day four days ago or the fourth day ago was you know thirty thirty dollars um, or 300 pips so just looking at a few things here all right moving up now guys you can see that there on the bottom uh, right hand left hand side pardon me getting my left and right mixed up a little bit here two minute chart on the right hand side this actually is the right hand side <laughs> all right I'm going to uh, stay focused on this 30 minute chart so we can see this thing a little bit more more clearly here looking for a 1.4 R give or take so the whole the whole uh, idea here of course is, is with most of my trades if not all my trades is multiple time frame uh, confluence right agreement bullish stance on um, on the daily a bullish zone break on the 30 and then the trend continuation here above the 20 EMA on the two minute you would see something very similar on the one minute and on the three minute which I often use by the way is a three minute maybe I'll stay in the three minute here for now it takes 10 of these candles to make one of these this being the 30 on the left and this being the three so pretty simple stuff obviously and driving up now I'm an early start to the day here now I used to uh, for many years uh, trade both London session and New York session and just recently uh, began shifting over to trading only the New York session but I still wake up between 1 30 and 2 30 most mornings um, because my my brain has been has been training to get up before 3 a.m. which is the time that the London session opens my time so New York time zone is where I am 3 a.m. is the open of London and so I typically was from the long, longest time getting up at uh, you know 1 30 to 2 30 to be ready with my charts all mapped out ready to go for the London open but um, so I've been up very you know I've been up what uh, over three hours now today but no trades uh, on the indices this morning. There's nothing, nothing for me here. This is the Nasdaq. To show it to you, a range bound here. Uh, this is the S and P. This is the Dow. Rangy, Wiki. I don't trade the uh, Dax and FTSE anymore. And so this is the, um, this is the gold setup that I saw while mapping out my zones. And. Uh, this is why I'm in it. Pretty straightforward. I'll put you back on pause for now. And we're back, guys. Just watching this gold uh, trade here. So it's a 30 minute candle finish now. And a new one has begun. I'm just going to uh, show you here on the three minute chart. So, again, bullish configuration or bullish candle at least on the daily bullish break on the 30 I know I'm repeating myself but I'm doing it on purpose as I get a lot of questions and and uh, I want it seems that repetition truly is the mother of skill and uh, hearing it over and over might be helpful for some and then of course bullish continuation on the three minute chart which would be the same on the two and on the one what's more detail and even cleaner on the five to stay on the three again the three being ten of these candles for one of these 
nothing magical about that. It's just a personal preference most of the time, not always. I'll sometimes use a five, three, two, or one minute on this uh, bigger screen here on the right hand side. Typically a 30 minute, 15 minute, or 10 minute down here, always a daily up in the top left. Hope that helps guys. Put your back on pause for now. And driving up now. Back to the 30 minutes so we can see this real clearly. Nice clean move. And that's what uh, we typically expect to or hope to see when we have clean traffic to the left is very often a clean traffic in real time. Assuming all the other pieces are in place. And in my Telegram group, I, I share a checklist to avoid fake outs or to avoid weak setups on these zone breaks. And uh, just about everything was in place. Now there was a rejection wick here, which I do look for. These ones are not too relevant to me because we had a nice close beyond those. We did not close beyond this one, but because of the time of the day that I explained earlier, where we often see incoming volume and, and stronger moves, and because a break above here, which required me to, uh, which I required in order to enter this trade, would mean breaking above this wick in a handy sort of way with fresh volume given the time of day. Hopefully that uh, makes sense. Watching now. 7.03 a.m. Watching it all happen now at the same time. Watching that daily continuing to kind of eke, grind a little higher, so bullish. Bullish break on the 30 minute with the clean traffic to the left, and the continuation here above the 20 EMA on the three minute chart. Patience. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to drop this. Looking for it to go where it, the trail has already been blazed. Looking for 33 points at pips now. I just needed to go back to the high, and I'm doing this on purpose because we're getting closer now to the open, out, op cry, uh, open outcry. Open? It's called the open outcry, and it's the open and very often we get a little bit of a reversal there and it looks like we may have just had that, in which case I missed. So I'm gonna raise this so you can see that the target was not hit. I'm gonna raise it one point there, fraction of a point. I'm just communicating with my group here in the meantime. Um, so the open outcry is at uh, 8.20 a.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. It's only 7.10, but in the hour leading up to open outcry, very often things turn around. It's just a pattern that I've noticed. I don't hear many people, if anybody, talk about it, but something that I see, we see these um, gyrations in the in the one hour window. And so we're, we're approaching it. It's 10 more minutes still, but uh, I just see this, this pattern sometimes. And, and maybe what that rejection is the beginning of there. Don't know for sure. It's just a feeling. I'm going to tighten the, uh, the stop now. To below the prior candle on the 30 minute chart. You see that there? I'm just gonna bring it up to you. There it is. $12.50 
of pip stop. Copy and I'm going to paste that here. super patient now guys looking for that that 33 pips I just needed to go back to the high so I'm actually looking for this right but I wanted to show you if I leave it here it looks like the target was hit and it was not all right let's make another little rally attempt here let's see if we can nail this thing I just needed to get back to there patiently waiting let me do some fancy footwork here in the words of Merrill Lynch don't be a dick for a tick here we go guys bringing this back to the high you know let's make it around 30 points I just need 30 pips pardon me just need to hit that marker now and there it is guys 30 pips let's see it go through I always like to see it go through you saw that hit it's uh, 30 pips waiting for it one more push I'm kind of just dragging this video on aren't I <laughs> And there it is, guys. So that'll be a 30 pip uh, trade. So let me check my own platform. Yep. Very good. Thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate your patience. That was kind of a slow grind. Have an amazing day. I'm sure we'll see you again back uh, later with at least one other trade. Who knows? Uh, I average between one and three trades a day. Depends on the day. Sometimes no trades. I just need the setups. But we have one in the bag, and here it is before New York even opens. Thanks again. Have an amazing day and a great rest of the week. Take care.